Stacker on a journey to find silver. International Stacker. And on the next one, guys. Oh, this one feels heavy. And I believe it is Providential. Provident Metals, I believe. Because um, it's a fulfillment center, guys. You guys, if you're sad that Provident changed the name from Provident Machine Bearings to um, Fulfillment Center, please put crying face images in the chat or in the comments below. That makes me sad. That makes me sad. Dude, what the heck? Oh, it's a ton of fiber tape, that's why. Fiber tape, if you guys have never used it. It is super crazy tape. Okay. There we go. Oh. One little pod, pod satchel, two little satchel. Three little satchel. It is definitely problem. Okay, let's see what I got here. Woo, listen. Is that a train or is that mint capsules? I'm thinking it's mint capsules. These are nice little boxes. I might save these for shipping stuff or something. Let's just cut them all. So I don't have to Let's try out this knife more. You know, guys, I think I've seen a video in the past of Provident Metals, I think it was, showing how they package for shipping. And they do a very good job. I've never had issues as far as, like, things being smashed. Oh, yeah. Look at this, guys. I went crazy. I know. I know. So. Let's see what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, nineteen, twenty. 20, okay, so we got 20 koalas, a mint log, 2018s. And guys, I pulled the trigger on these because the price was crazy. I want to say I paid like $16 and something cents for these. It was something nuts. You never see with koalas. And this is more. So that was 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 30 koalas. Yep, that's right. So 30 koalas. And guys, I usually don't keep them in these shrink wrap things. I usually bust them out, but for now, I'll keep them in that. Okay, I got some other stuff here. 30 up to 30 ounces. This is five, so 35. Oh, these are more of the Oriental Border Britannias. So if you guys saw my other box where I opened it and I had some koalas and like, I had like five of these and like three of these. So I did that first order and then later I was thinking about it. I'm like, you know what? This is such a crazy deal. I'm going to kick myself in the face if I don't get more. So I went absolutely ham. So five more Oriental Britannias, Oriental Border. And you guys, these are from the Perth Mint in Australia. And these are the Royal British Mint, obviously in England. The card is not over, guys. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five of those. Interesting. I think the Royal British Mint comes shrink wrapped in these tubes like this. Or in these shrink wrap packages, I should say. So these are all Oriental Border Britannias. And you guys, again, I forget the price of these, but it was such a crazy price. So let's see how many of these I got. One, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 25. 
So it looks like I got 25 of the Oriental Border Britannias 2018s, and I got 30 of the Koalas. Wow. What do you guys think? Do you like the Koalas or the Oriental Britannias better? Now there's gonna be some people out there that saying, you know, that they only buy generic and they buy as close to spot. But you guys, spot is so low and I believe I bought these in the 16s. I feel like it's such a stupid decision not to buy stuff like this because even if I don't stack this, I can I could flip it now or go to a LCS and probably get more for it. Or I could wait for spot to come up and really flip these. And at least I have some premium silver. And you know, these are not numismatic. These are considered semi-numismatic coins. So what are you guys' thoughts on this? Will you guys buy whatever silver it is, no matter, just as long as it's on sale? Do you guys, some of you just buy whatever you want, you don't care about the price? Or are some people so stubborn and stuck on only stacking one type of silver that this is what they stick with? And that's what I feel like, guys. I feel like that's being stubborn, okay? My personal opinion, is I let the deals dictate my buying patterns and I buy whatever I can as close to spot as possible and even under spot in a lot of times you've seen. Um, and I don't care. Now, if things are the same price and I can choose between a generic and a numis semi numismatic, I'm gonna go semi numismatic all day long because there's more value locked in that coin. Um, if I can go either generic or 90% constitutional silver, I'm gonna go 90% constitutional silver because there's more um, equity locked up in that. There's really not much equity in generic silver unless you get like, you know, like a big name, like an Englehart or a Johnson Matthey or some Silvertown stuff, stuff like that. Or even like some of the round series have done well and I do flip some of those rounds. But in general, I'm talking like generic, I'm talking like Sunshine Mint rounds. I'm talking like, you know, whatever rounds out there. That's what I mean. So, I mean, I'm not talking down and bagging on generic silver by all means. If I can get it cheapest, I will get it. But I've seen some people that are so like, I, I only stack generic, like it's like a purist type thing, that they miss out on crazy deals like this. Crazy deals like this that you could take and flip, and if you really are into only generic silver, you can buy silver or gold like this, and flip it, and get even more generic than you would have had in the future. I'm not sure why I went on this little rant, but <laughs> that's kind of my outlook. Time for the last box here. And I believe these, are two bags because I've gone on such a buying binge of constitutional silver lately. I know I'm gonna need these, if not now in the near future. So I got uh, two of the 100 face bags, which are these. So these each hold $100 face, and these are only like $1.40 a pop, and they're really nice canvas construction. And then these two are $500 face, uh, nice cloth, canvas, bags to keep constitutional silver in. Again, these are only like $1.49 a pop on Provident and they work great. All right guys, what do you think? That's a quick 30, 40, 55 ounces to the stack. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked my point of view. Sorry if I offended anyone out there, but hopefully if it offended you, take a step back and look at what I was talking about. Maybe you can benefit from it. Because even if you only like generic silver, you can use this as a method to grow more and build your silver tower, no matter what it might be, to the sky. All right, guys. Well, I hope you liked it. Catch you on the next one.